In this tutorial, we are going to be going over how to do three things. How to web scrape full data sets, how to pull individual metrics from data sets, and how to automate the web scraping process. While Google Sheets provides multiple ways to web scrape data, today we will be focusing on the import HTML command. This is the command I have used to help make many of my more advanced portfolio trackers like the ones you see here. So with that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so in order to web scrape data into Google Sheets, we first need to find a data set that we want to work with. So I'm going to jump over here to Wikipedia, and you can see I have already found a data set of a list of the NBA single game scoring leaders all time. And if we scroll down here, we can see here is our data set. It's a very large data set, and we want to web scrape this into Google Sheets. So the very first thing we need to do is we will double click on our screen and come down here and click inspect. And if we come up here to the top and click on console, I am going to put in an HTML code that is going to allow us to see which table this is. And I'm going to have this code posted in the description so that you can use it. So I'm going to put this in. You can see the code here. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see I now have five tables listed here. So here's our first table. And we can see this is the table that's highlighted for table one. And when I put my cursor over table two, you can see that the data set that we want is listed here. So this means that table two is the data set that we want to pull from this website. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this URL and jump back over to our web scraping Google Sheets. So I'm going to hit enter right here and we're going to type in import HTML and this is the command we're going to use to web scrape data. And then I'm going to put in quotation marks and copy and paste the URL that we were just at here. And we'll close this quotation marks and then we're going to do a comma and add quotation marks again. And this is a table that we are web scraping from. So I'm going to indicate to Google Sheets that this is a table by typing in table. And then if you remember, that was the second table on the screen that we want to import into Google Sheets. So all I'm going to do now is type out the number two, close the quotations and the parentheses and hit enter. And it might take just a second because it's a large data set, but now you can see we have that entire data set that we just saw on Wikipedia and we have web scraped it into Google Sheets. So now let's try to import some financial data. So let's jump over to a new sheet and let's say that we want to find financial data on Apple. What we can do is if we jump over to finviz.com, it is a stock screener. And if we go to Apple, we can see here we have a really nice table that lists a lot of financial data on Apple. So we'll do the same thing. We'll double click and we can head over to inspect. And we will click on console. And down here at the bottom, we can copy and paste in that HTML code once again. And I'll hit enter. And you can see there is a lot of tables listed here. So I'm just going to scroll over some of these tables and it looks like it says that table 11 is the table that we need to pull from this website. So what we'll do is we will copy this URL since that we're, that's what we're going to need to web scrape and we will come here and we will do equals import HTML and we will put quotations and we will copy the URL that we just used, close off the quotations. Now we need to indicate that we are pulling from a table. So we will type out table and then we will indicate that the table we want is table 11. And I'll close this off and hit enter. And we can see this is actually not the correct data. So every now and then we will come across a website that does not have the correct tables listed. And the best way to try to find your data set when you're doing this is now just trial and error. So you can jump around, try to find the right data set. And so I'll try table eight. And we can see that actually is the correct data set that we wanted to pull. So now we have all of this financial data on Apple. So now that we have gone over how to import entire data sets into Google Sheets, we need to talk about how to pull a single individual metric from these tables into Google Sheets. So for example, say from this table, we only wanted to pull the amount that Apple was going to pay in dividends into Google Sheets. Here's what we'll need to do. 
So the first thing that we need to do is we need to use this exact same code that we just pasted up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and copy it. And let's jump over to a new tab and we want to find this data on Apple. So I'm going to list that here. Let's jump down and copy and paste this same code. And you can see it's still giving me this exact same data set. So what we need to do is we need to indicate to Google Sheets exactly what we want to pull from this data set. So what we're going to do is we are going to come up here and before import HTML, we are going to type out index. And this is going to tell Google Sheets that we want to pull an individual metric from this data set. So let's come over here and we need to decide how we are going to pull this. So if we jump back over to our data set on Finviz, we can count out and figure out which number and index this is. And so to do this, what we'll do is we will see how many columns down it is and how many rows over. So if we go starting right here at index, we'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So dividend is seven down and it is one, two over. So let's jump back over to our Google Sheet. And what we'll do is we will just type out seven since it was seven down, comma two, and then we can close off this parenthesis. And when I hit enter on this, you can see we are now pulling just the dividend for Apple. So now the last step to mastering web scraping in Google Sheets is learning how to automate the web scraping process. So what I want to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open up a new tab. And on this tab, we once again want to pull dividend data. So let's say there's a few different stocks I want to see dividend data on. We can say I want to see it on Apple, Verizon, and AT&T. So what we're going to do in order to begin the automation process is let's jump back over to our dividend data tab and let's go ahead and copy and paste this exact same code over that we just used. And we will paste it here. And so you can see this is the exact same code, but in order to automate the process here, what we need to do is we need to manipulate the HTML code here where it lists Apple stock ticker to refer to cell A3, which is where we have our stock ticker listed. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this section that I just highlighted and we're going to close it off with a quotation mark right here, but we are going to actually add to this HTML code. And to do that, we're going to use an and sign and then we are going to click on cell A3 here where we have Apple listed. And once I've done that, I'm going to hit enter and you can see we have the amount paid by Apple and dividends listed. And if I drag this down here, you can see that the code carries over and we now have the amount paid in dividends listed for Verizon and for AT&T. So now this is completely automated. So let's say that I change what stock that I want to see. And let's say instead of Apple, I want to see the Coca-Cola company. I hit enter here and you can now see that Google Sheets is automatically web scraping this data for us. So there you have it. That is how you web scrape data in Google Sheets. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If this video was helpful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.